My name is Nick Fife. I am the professor of horn at the University of North Carolina at Wilmington. This week, rehearsals are starting up for Florence Symphony's concert on October 10th. We're performing one of my favorite pieces, Mahler's First Symphony. One of my students is sitting next to me for this concert and is her first time performing a Mahler symphony, which made me think about the first time I performed a Mahler symphony. The recording in this video is from that performance. It was the summer of 2010 at the Symphony Orchestra Academy of the Pacific in Powell River, British Columbia. This was my all-time favorite music festival and one of my favorite musical experiences. The orchestra was excellent and the natural beauty of British Columbia was breathtaking. Now that festival goes by the name Prisma, but I still highly recommend it. Today, I would like to talk to you all about the Wild Lip Trill in the first movement of Mahler's first symphony. This trill takes place six measures after rehearsal number 29. Horns 5 and 6 are trilling on a fourth space E, and horn 7 is an octave lower on first line E. These are both whole step trills from an E to an F sharp. Horns 5 and 6 can use trigger 2 to trill between both notes. Horn 7 needs to use 1 and 2 on the F horn to trill between the first line E in the first space F sharp. This trill is marked fortissimo and is supposed to be loud and wild. So it's also worth noting that with romantic era trills, we're going to be starting on the lower neighbor or you know, the, the note that's indicated on the page. So for these trills, you know, we're trilling from an E to an F sharp, we'll be starting on the E. My teacher from undergrad, Robert Prusen, used to say that with some trills, you just need to make a commotion, and this is no exception. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe, and tune in next week when we talk about the rambunctious lip trills in Dvorak's Eighth Symphony.